Hey guys, this is Robert with Dungeon Lair. Real quick, um, I purchased six brushes from Windsor & Newton. So I wanted to share with you what I thought of, of the brushes, um, what's different about uh, the Windsor & Newton brushes versus your standard brushes that you could buy in Hobby Lobby or any arts and craft store. And also I had an issue with one of the brushes so far that I've used, so um, I wanted to share that with you as well. So let's get to it. So here are the three of the six brushes that I purchased from Windsor & Newton. I purchased, uh, uh, this is showing right here is the 0, 1, and 2 brush. And you can't, I can't show you here in this video, but uh, I'll show you um, in pictures after the video. Um, so far I've used the number one brush and it was fantastic. Um, the tip was perfect and um, one thing that I've noticed about the Windsor and Newton brushes versus your standard brushes that you buy from let's say a Hobby Lobby or Roberts Arts and Crafts or any arts and crafts store that the Windsor and Newton brushes hold more paint and the tip holds much longer than your average five six dollar brush that you buy at any arts and craft store but I, I, I was disappointed by the number two brush that I received and maybe it's just a a bad brush but the tip is uh, it, it wasn't true it was it was crooked I don't know if it was uh, some bad hairs or just a bad brush I'm not sure but I'm going to write them an email let them know share with them the pictures that uh, that I took of the brush with actual paint on it because to be honest it it really wasn't it wasn't fun to, to use this brush and and uh, my other generic brushes that I purchased from uh, a Michaels Arts and Crafts was actually a better paintbrush to use than than this paintbrush. But the number one paintbrush was was flawless. It was fantastic. It was fun to paint with, and well worth the uh, the money that I spent on it. So I'll keep you updated. And uh, real quick, what I wanted to do is. I'm going to share with you, here's a miniature I used, or I painted just using um, generic standard brushes from, from Michaels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint up another miniature using the um, Windsor & Newton brushes exclusively and kind of share with you my thoughts on the difference and uh, of the of the different brushes and how they both paint but um, so this turned out really well just for using generic brushes I've heard from other people and in other videos that they say that paint brushes good paint brushes alone will not make you a better a better painter um, I probably agree with that but it having a high quality brush uh, it, it does make the hobby much more enjoyable and uh, what I would recommend is, is, is start out just with the basic brushes if you're starting out in the hobby and, and, and painting and then as your skills increase uh, move up to the um, higher quality brushes maybe like a Windsor & Newton because again when I use the Windsor & Newton brush the number one it was much more enjoyable to paint than with generic brushes because you're not fighting with the brush. Uh, again, the, the tip of the brush holds true. It holds more paint. You're not going back constantly to, to gather more paint on your brush. And it's just overall, it's a, it's a much better and more enjoyable experience to me. That's what I found. So I'll keep you updated on the email I'm going to send out to Windsor & Newton. I'll let you know what their feedback is and what their response is. And then uh, any questions or comments, feel free to leave them uh, below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks a lot. Bye.